Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of TEW 2020 WWE as today is the final pay-per-view on the road to WrestleMania, the last premium live stop elimination chamber. A stacked card tonight with three elimination chamber matches. We get on the show on the road with a little promo video just highlighting or highlighting the the three elimination chamber matches. We have the two Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic Finals. We have big tag matchups featuring the Rumble winners. Rousey teaming with Belair, Duke and Shafira against Baszler. Her No Mercy teammates Conti and Deville as well as the Million Dollar Champion Diana Perrazzo. As well as of course the Unspeed Era's explosion being culminating a bit here with Adam Cole and Roderick Strong taking on Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. A stacked night. That opening promo video gets us an 88. A nice start to the show here, honestly. As then, it's time for the NXT Elimination Chamber, where the winner will become the number one contender to Chad Gable's NXT Championship. Everyone makes their entrances. Alton coming out first, followed by... AJ Styles followed by the North American champion Isaiah Swerve Scott. Then out comes Austin Theory. He's smiling. He's happy. He's ready for this. He's making his way down to the ring when he is brutally attacked from behind by Timothy Thatcher. Storms into the back of him. Think edge to Kofi Kingston. Thatcher attacking Theory, smashing him into the guardrail, taking him out completely before storming into the chamber and smashing the pod door closed. There's no getting him out of there for a 67 a stent after there's nothing else we can do theory can't compete and it looks like thatcher's decided i'll take his place as then cross and priest come out as the opening too and we get underway here uh, elimination chamber rules of course two men starting in the ring cross and priest here four in the pods every four minutes a new superstar will enter uh, until all superstars are in and then they get eliminated one by one pinfall or submission till we have a victor and Cross and Priest going at it. They've been in a feud for a while. Priest defeating Cross at War Games. Cross returning at Judgment Day a few weeks back and going after Priest. And Cross seems to be getting all of his pent-up aggression out on Priest here. Smashing him into the pod. Smashing him into the chain link fence. In the end, Damian Priest getting ready for a reckoning when Karrion Cross fighting him off, getting him against the rope and hits a Doomsday Saida over the top rope. And onto the steel floor behind. Karrion Cross going to the outside. Picking up Priest. And doing the same into the ring before climbing in. And covering Priest for the 1-2-3. Pri Damien Priest eliminated before the first entrance here. Uh, Karrion Cross showing his brutality. He wants the NXT Championship back. As then four minutes are up. It's time for the third contestant. Randy Orton. Randy Orton exiting his pod slowly stalking round the outside the cage whilst Cross is in the ring looking at him before Orton gets in the ring and him and Cross going at it they've had their fights in the past hell in a cell back at Extreme Rules where Cross came out on top of course and at Super Showdown where Cross came out on top of course Karrion Cross and Randy Orton have their history and they just brawl out a brutal encounter neither man really coming out on top before number four Isaiah Swerve Scott, the North American champion, enters and joins the fray. And when I say that, I mean largely stays away from Karrion Cross and Randy Orton and lets them fight it out. But at times, of course, there is no running and you have to get involved. Uh, eventually, number five, AJ Styles enters. About 12 minutes gone. So now, AJ getting involved immediately, spotting his opportunity, runs out of his pod, sees Scott in the ring. Jumps up, phenomenal forearm, and covers him for the pin. Isaiah Swerve's got eliminated by AJ Styles seconds after he entered. Uh, two eliminations so far. Styles, Alton Cross fighting it out. Number six, Timothy Thatcher. The man who wasn't meant to be in the match. He forced his way in, and now all the contestants have entered. One of these four men will be fighting for the NXT Championship at WrestleMania. They're all fighting it out. Alton and Styles kind of working together a bit because Cross... Focusing on Orton, Thatcher focusing on Orton, Styles, you know, no specific problems with Orton, so helping him out a little bit. Uh, in the end, though, Styles going for the four phenomenal forearm on Cross, Cross getting out of the way and grabbing Styles from behind, locking in the Cross jacket, and Styles no choice but to submit the third elimination here, down to three. The match continuing, Orton and Thatcher going at it in the ring. As Thatcher goes to look in the Fujiwara armbar, but Alton hits a low blow on Thatcher. Thatcher dropping down. Thatcher releasing the hold. 
kneeling over an alt and hitting an RKO for the one, two, three. Thatcher eliminated, and we're down to two. Randy Alton versus Karrion Cross. One of these men will fight Jad Gable for the NXT Championship at WrestleMania. And in the end, about 23 minutes into the match here, Karrion Cross, like he's done to on so many times before, on the top rope, grabbing Orton, setting up for that doomsday Saida. And he prepares for it. And he's ready when Orton elbows him in the face. Cross stays. And then Orton grabbing Cross and hitting an RKO off the top rope to the floor. And therefore, Orton covers Karrion Cross for the one, two, three. Your winner of the first Elimination Chamber of match of this night. And the man heading to fight Jack Gable for the NXT Championship at WrestleMania is Randy Orton. For an 81, good match, all things considered here. 89 Styles, 83 Cross, 80 Orton, 74 Priest, 69 Thatcher, 68 Scott. I'm happy with this, as it is Randy Orton who books his ticket to WrestleMania after the match. Orton goes onto that turnbuckle, does his pose before pointing at the sign. The pyro going off. Orton has booked his ticket to WrestleMania for an 83. Yeah, good match, good start to the show, good segment afterwards. I'm happy. As next up is the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic on the women's side. Uh, from Raw, we have Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. From NXT, we have the Black Heart World, Tanky Express, Indy Hartwell, and Shotsu Black Heart. And from SmackDown, we have Mia Yim and Dewdrop. And in the end, all three teams giving it to all. All three teams want to be the inaugural women's Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic winners. All three want to go to WrestleMania for that women's tag title shot. But in the end, it's Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair who come out on top for a 76. Good match. I'm happy with this. Lynch and Flair winning the Dusty Cup. 86 Lynch, 77 Flair, 57 Dewdrop, 52 Shotzi, 48 for Indy and Yim respectively as well. After the match, Lynch and Flair raising up the Dusty Cup. They're going to WrestleMania. They've got a women's tag title match that they wanted. They wanted their hands on Naomi and Nia Jax and they're going to get it at WrestleMania for a 90. Good segment here. Good match. The show continuing to go well here. As then, we, next up, we have the triple threat match for the NXT Women's Championship. Raquel Gonzalez defending her gold against Candice LeRae and Tegan Knox here. But in the end, Raquel Gonzalez coming out on top. Pinning Candice LeRae with the one-arm powerbomb for the win. 4 and 82. Good match here. Better than I was expecting it to be. 74 Knox, 69 Gonzalez, 61 LeRae. I am happy as Raquel Gonzalez does retain her NXT Women's Championship once again as then we rush backstage there's a lot of commotion as Samoa Joe is found laid out unconscious backstage Paige rushing and calling for the medic Samoa Joe scheduled to compete in the main event in that Universal Championship number one contenders elimination chamber match but I mean looking at him right now it does not look like he will be able to so I have to wait to see what happens there 73 for that backstage segment as then it is the 4v4 tag team match over on SmackDown. On one side, we have the Women's Royal Rumble winner, Ronda Rousey, Bianca Belair, Jasmine Duke, and Marina Shafir. And on the other, we have the Women's Universal Champion, Shayna Baszler, her No Mercy squad mates, Sonya Deville, and Tainara Conti, as well as the Million Dollar Champion, Deonna Perrazzo. But in the end, it's Team Rousey who gets the win. Ronda Rousey forcing Tay Conti to submit to submit with an armbar for that victory for a 79. Ronda Rousey continues her momentum heading to Mania, where she will, of course, be fighting Shayna Baszler for that women's universal title. I mean, pretty good match, considering who was in it. Uh, 93 Ronda, Jesus Ronda. 74 Shayna, 71 Sonia, 64 Deonna, 63 Bianca, 54 Tay Conti, and then 32 Jasmine Duke, 30 Ship Miri the Ship here. Obviously, those two not the best in terms of ratings, but I mean, 79 is still really good here. As, yeah, good match. Ronda and Bianca and Duke and Shafir coming out on top. As we stay on SmackDown next up for the Universal Championship match. Thaddeus Bullard versus Mark Henry. Championship versus career. Thaddeus Bullard, accompanied by Paul Heyman, of course, makes his entrance first. Coming down to the ring and then onto the stage. Walks. 3-6 Mafia. And they play. Somebody's going to get it. They play Mark Henry to the ring here for potentially his final match. He gets this nice special entrance I wanted to give him for an 83. As then, Universal Championship versus Career. Thaddeus Bullard versus Mark Henry. In the end, Mark Henry 
gives everything he's got. He leaves it all in that ring. But he cannot overcome Bullard. Bullard, in the end, somehow managing to lift Mark Henry up and plant him with a Bullard bomb for the victory. Thaddeus Bullard retains the Universal Championship for a 78. Good, a good match here. I mean, yeah, no complaints on my end. 73 Bullard, 60 Henry. And it is Thaddeus Bullard who retains his Universal title. And it is Mark Henry's official final match. As afterwards, once Bullard and Heyman and all that have gone, it's just Mark Henry getting to his feet as the crowd applaud him for the final time. He thanks them and he goes up the ramp. The world's strongest man's career is over. For a 67, a sad segment here, but Mark Henry's time is done. He's sad. Uh, then it's time to bring the crowd back up with an elimination chamber. The raw chamber to be exact where the winner will become the number one contender to Sasha Banks Women's World Championship at WrestleMania. Uh, we know some of them. We we know that fifth or sixth will be Bailey or Carmella. They make their entrances and get in their pods. We know third and fourth will be Io Shirai and Kairi Sane in some order. Io Shirai and Kairi Sane making their way out into the pods. And then we know first and second, Alexa Bliss and Zoe Stark make their way out to the ring. And... I mean, a lot of respect for each other, but they go at it. They they both want that women's world title, and so they're not going to leave anything in the ring. Four minutes past, and it's Io Shirai who's number three, and she makes her entrance. She joins the fray. And four more minutes past in the end, and Kairi Sane comes in. All four women fighting it out, uh, and in the end, the first elimination comes when Zoe Stark hits Bliss with her finisher, and Zoe Stark getting a massive pinfall for her, pinning Alexa Bliss in the chamber to eliminate her the match going on 12 minutes gone carmella making her entrance before 16 minutes passed no more eliminations yet as bailey enters all five women left in the match in the ring bailey getting in it zoe stark on the outside shirai and sane on one side bailey getting in the ring with carmella carmella saying to bailey let's let's team up again let's take them on and bailey like okay okay carmella going forward for bailey pulls her in hits her with a bailey's belly and then covers her for the pin uh, Carmella eliminated here. Bailey, you know, wants to go to WrestleMania here. No friends in the chamber. As the match goes on, in the end, Kyrie Sane hitting the elbow on Zoe Stark and pinning her for the elimination. Zoe Stark out, down to three. The match going on. Io Shirai eventually managing to hit Bailey with the beautiful moonsault she does to eliminate Bailey. And we're down to two. Io Shirai and Kyrie Sane, the Sky Pirates. Going at it, full speed against each other for that shot at the Women's World Title at WrestleMania. And in the end, Kairi Sane times to the top rope, goes for the elbow drop. But Io Shirai rolls out of the way, Sane down, Io Shirai climbs to the top rope, shakes her head, climbs to the top of the pod, and hits the moonsault off the pod onto Sane before covering her for the one, two, three. Your winner. Of this elimination chamber is Io Shirai for an 81. Another good match considering 80 Bailey, 77 Shirai, 74 Sane, 70 Bliss, 60 Carmella, 49 Stark. Very happy with this as Io Shirai stamps her ticket after the match. She gets on the turnbuckle, does her pose, and then points at the sign. Vapira going off again for a 71. It will be for the Women's World title, Sasha Banks versus Io Shirai in an absolute dream match. At WrestleMania, a huge match set up there that I cannot wait to see. As then, next up is for the Cruiserweight Championship. It is the champion Legado's own Andrade taking on Trey Griffin of MSK. Legado taking out the rest of MSK. Trey Griffin all alone, but he's still giving everything he got. He's got against Andrade. He's actually coming out on top. It looks like he might have it, but then. Zelina Vega distracting the ref. Humberto trying to get involved. Trey takes him out. Santos Escobar tries to get in gold. Trey takes him out as well. But in the end, Andrade hits Trey Griffin with the low blow and then rolls him up, holding the tights. The referee seeing, not seeing the tights, but seeing the pin and counting the three. Andrade retains the Cruiserweight title once again for an 80. Another good match. What is this what you get with Andrade? 87 Andrade, 53 Trey Griffin. Very happy with this as... Andrade keeps a hold of that Cruiserweight Championship before it's time for the men's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Final. 
From Raw, we have the team of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, the best friends, taking on NXT's The Mysterios, Dominic and Ray, the father and son, taking on SmackDown's The Hardy Boys, the brothers, Jeff and Matt. One of these teams is winning the cup. One of these teams is getting a guaranteed tag title match at Mania. All three teams giving it everything they've got. The Hardy Boys want another accomplishment. Owens and Zayn, they want this. They've never been tag team champions in WWE somehow, and they want to do it. Whilst the Mysterios, the father and son, Ray wants to win this with his son. He wants to win it with his son. He wants to be a tag champion with his son. And to do that, winning this will help. And in the end, it's the Mysterios who come out on top. In the end, Matt Hardy going for the twist of fate. Dominic rolling him up and getting the pin. The Mysterios have won the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic. They will get a tag title match at WrestleMania for an 85. What a match between these three teams. Once again, I will say, Kevin Owens, you put him in a match... He'll get you a high rating. 98 in ring from Kevin Owens. He's just so damn good. This is really the, uh, the year of Owens. 87 Jeff. 86 Ray. 84 Sammy. 60 Matt. 44 Dom. Everyone pulling their weight here really. Except Dom and Matt. But you know Dom's new. <laughs> For that 85. As afterwards. Dominic and Ray. The Mysterio's father and son. Ray's the Dusty Cup. They're going to WrestleMania. A lovely moment for the father and son pairing here for a 68 as then from a lovely family moment we have a bitter blood feud pop up for the united states title xavier woods versus big e before the undisputed era the new day exploded all the way back at armageddon where xavier woods was revealed to be the masked man who had been attacking big e laying him out costing him his universal title rematch much the same he cost him the universal title to begin with Big E finally getting his hands now on, on Xavier Woods for the US title. The two men going at it. Big E wants to knock some sense into Xavier Woods, he said. Whilst Xavier Woods has clear distaste, clear hate for Big E, it seems. Fighting it out. Big E, in the end, getting Woods on his shoulder for the big ending. Xavier Woods shimmying down his back and then hitting a low blow in full view of the referee. The referee, no choice but to call for the bell. Big E gets the win, but Xavier Woods is still your United States champion for an 82. Good match, you know, DQ ending will always lower the rating, I feel, but still a good match, all things considered. 79E, 72 Woods, both doing well, but it's Xavier Woods who retains the US title and stands tall over Big E to end things. And then we do stay on the explosion of much loved stables next up with the Undisputed Era's explosion. Because it's the tag team match. On one side, the WWE Champion Adam Cole and Roderick Strong. And on the other, the Royal Rumble winner and the man who will face Adam Cole at WrestleMania, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. Kyle O'Reilly made his choice for Adam Cole and that has torn the Undisputed Era apart. Fish aligning with O'Reilly, Strong aligning with Cole. There's a lot of anger in this match. Both teams giving it everything. And in the end, it's Adam Cole. And Roderick Strong coming out on top. Adam Cole hitting Bobby Fish with the last shot before covering his former UE brother for the pin. Cole and Strong coming out on top. The Dodie Champion Adam Cole getting the pin for an 87. Another incredible tag team match. Tag team wrestling on full display tonight. 94 Cole. Incredible. 88 O'Reilly. Incredible. 79 Fish. 76 Strong. Very, very happy with this as Adam Cole is the one who stands tall at the end. Will it be the same at WrestleMania when him and O'Reilly collide one-on-one? -on -one? Oh, we'll have to wait and see about that, won't we? As now it's time for the main event, the SmackDown Elimination Chamber, where the winner will earn a Universal Championship match with Thaddeus Bullard at WrestleMania 38. Now, everyone makes their entrances. Keith Lee comes out, enters the pod. John Cena comes out, enters his pod. The Bullard brands, LA Knight and Apollo Crews, come out respectively and enter their pods. Bronson Reed comes out, one of the first two here. And then, of course, Samoa Joe taken out earlier. There's a big question about who will replace him. And yes, Roman Reigns strolls out smug as ever. And you have to think, maybe, who did attack Samoa Joe here? We made up, though. But Roman Reigns walking out. Roman Reigns clearly paying no mind to The Rock's WrestleMania challenge at the moment because he has his eyes on a much bigger prize. Roman Reigns enters the chamber 
him and Bronson Reed will start. Bronson Reed, of course, beating Roman Reigns to earn a spot in the chamber, but now having to start with him. And Reigns is angry at Reed. Reed still is angry at Reigns and the two men. It's it's a it's just a brawl. It's a battle. These two men want to hurt each other. They want to fight. They fight it out for the whole four minutes before number three, Keith Lee, enters the match. Keith Lee coming right at it. In the end, we have our first elimination before the second entrance as Roman Reigns hits Bronson Reed with a massive spear through the empty pod that Keith Lee was in, laying Reed out for dragging him into the ring and covering him for the pin. Bronson Reed eliminated. Then we have eight minutes, John Cena enters. You know, LA Knight and Apollo Crews of the Bullard brand, five and six. Did Thaddeus Bullard have something to do with that, you have to think? Maybe. The match goes on. Cena, Lee and Reigns in the ring fighting it out. Before number five, LA Knight enters, join more well, staying out of it largely, <laughs> locking his uh, chamber pod as best possible, waiting till the 16 minute mark where Apollo Crews comes out as LA Knight opens his pod at that point as well. Crews and Knight working together to go after the rest of the field. The five men fighting it out, Cena and Lee kind of working together against Knight and Crews, but Reigns. Reigns just wants to fight everyone, to be honest with you. In the end, LA Knight sets up for the BFT on John Cena, but John Cena lifts him up, hits an AA, and covers him for the pin. LA Knight eliminated. Keith Lee manages to take out Apollo Crews with a big bang catastrophe before covering him for the pin. Apollo Crews eliminated. Down to three here. Cena, Reigns, and Lee. Reigns and Cena going at it in the ring. Reigns hits a Superman punch. John Cena days down on his knee. Reigns in the corner. Ooh. R sets up for the spear, charge at Cena when Keith Lee comes in from nowhere and he does the pounce on Roman Reigns. He, Roman Reigns flying off to the side, dazed, Keith, getting to his feet. Keith Lee picks him up, big bang catastrophe, rolls through, chucks Roman Reigns at John Cena, who picks him up and hits an AA before covering him for the free. Roman Reigns eliminated, and we are down to two. Keith Lee versus John Cena. The 16-time world champ versus the limitless one. Hustle, lawyer, respect versus bask in his glory. One of these men will be fight for the Universal title at WrestleMania. And they go at it. Both men want that WrestleMania opportunity. John Cena wants to be a 16-time world champ. Keith Lee finally wants his hands on Thaddeus Bullard. And in the end, John Cena somehow finds the strength to lift Keith Lee onto his shoulders. And he hits him with an A. A laying Keith Lee out. The referee, he covers. The ref counts one, two. And at the last millisecond, Keith Lee somehow finds the strength to kick out. John Cena has that look on his face. That I don't know if shock is the word, but the look of, if that didn't do it. If me mustering all my strength to hit that one move didn't do it. What will? As John Cena, as he often does, maybe realises it will have to be bigger. As John Cena somehow drags Keith Lee to his feet, drags him up the turnbuckle, on the top of the on the top rope, John Cena getting ready for an avalanche AA. Keith Lee waking up though, fighting John Cena off before Keith Lee picks up John Cena on the top rope and hits a big bang catastrophe off the top rope to the mat as the ref counts one, two, three. Your winner of the SmackDown Elimination Chamber and the man who will fight Thaddeus Bullard for the Universal Championship at WrestleMania is Keith Lee. He did it. He beat John Cena. Him and John Cena went out and he got the best of the 16 world champ in the end for a 93. Another incredible match. A very good pay-per-view as always. 93 Cena, 90 Reigns, 89 Lee, 81 Reed, 76 Knight, 75 Cruz. Very happy with this. As in the end, it's Keith Lee who books his ticket to WrestleMania. He will finally get his hands on Thaddeus Bullard after the match. Keith Lee helps John Cena to his feet, and the two men shake hands before John Cena raises Keith Lee's arm. A show of respect from John Cena to Keith Lee before John Cena leaves the cell, leaves the chamber to, for Keith Lee to have his moment as Keith Lee celebrates. He points to the sign. It, pyro going off. Keith Lee is going to WrestleMania for a 90. What a show. Overall rating. Elimination Chamber gets a 92. Incredible work as usual. Increase the pop in 37 regions. Very happy with this as the Mania card takes even more shape now. Universal title Thaddeus Bullard versus Keith Lee. The Mysterios will have a tag title match. 
it will be Naomi and Nia Jax taking on Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair for the women's tag team titles. Sasha Banks versus Io Shirai for the women's world. Randy Orton getting a shot at Chad Gable's NXT Championship. WrestleMania is padding out beautifully after another incredible premium live event here. I do hope you have enjoyed an amazing show, I think. If you have, then please leave a like. And if you are looking forward to the final run-in to WrestleMania, four more episodes of Raw, NXT and SmackDown to go before the two-night premium live event spectacular, then please do subscribe to the channel for more. I'll, I'll make my speeches to, uh, you know what, I'll just do to do to the chamber winners. No, I'll do Keith and Eo and then I'll do Ray because that title, that bloody Dusty Rose didn't have a, any right to do as well as it did. Uh, dare please, dare please, dare please, if you're pleased, once again, leave a like, subscribe for more, and thank you for watching.